got? What the hell is going on in there? Church, everything's fine. The patient is just resting. Doesn't sound like he's resting. That's not Tucker. That's our new arrival. He's got a lot of energy since his first feeding. Tucker fed the baby? Gross. Actually, Caboose was kind enough to donate some blood. You know what they say? It takes a village. How'd you get him to agree to that? It's amazing what Caboose will do if you promise him a cookie and a glass of orange juice. But he hates needles. No needles. It turns out if you just expose some bare skin, the little guy just digs right in. It's like a miracle to see nature at work. I feel dizzy. Um, is he going to be okay? Tucker's kid drank half a gallon in one go. Isn't that cool? Uh, I think he's going to be a linebacker. Or a vampire. Or a vampire linebacker. That would be crazy. Ooh. Anyway, blood is pretty important. So Caboose is bound to have some side effects like dizziness or nausea or sensitivity to light. I think I'm going to stop standing up now. Or passing out. Church, if I die, I want you to have my orange juice. I could suck her sleep with all that racket. Sleeping? He's not sleeping. He's in a coma. All right, that's it. Get out of the way, Doc. I'll take care of this. I can't feel my torso. I don't think so. A newborn is really susceptible to infection and disease and cuddling. I only want to expose it to as few people as possible. <laughs> Doc, don't worry. I'm not going to give it a cold. I'm just going to go in there, step on its neck, and shoot it in the head. Because that's how I roll. <laughs>